Medusa by Jesse Burton, illustrated by Olivia Lomachek Gill, is a beautiful take on the myth of Medusa from her point of view. As we start the novel, it's been four years since Medusa was changed into a monster by Athena. She and her sisters are living on a small island away from the rest of the world, exiled by the gods. When Perseus arrives on the island, Medusa hides in her cave, not wanting to be seen and called a monster. In this version of the story, she doesn't yet know that she can turn people to stone. Medusa and Perseus slowly become friends as they talk each day, sharing their stories and their past that led them to where they are now. Perseus wants to see her, but Medusa, who's given him a fake name, says that she's disfigured and doesn't want to be seen. As days go by and they talk more, Perseus says he thinks he's falling in love with her, despite the fact that she says she's disfigured. But shortly after he makes that confession, he reveals the goal of the quest he's on, cut off the head of the monster Medusa. Medusa asks him questions about the monster he's looking for, and Perseus tells her what he's heard of her. She's hideous, with filthy skin, a head of snakes, and eats lizards for breakfast. When pressed, if Perseus knows anyone who's ever seen Medusa, he responds that he's never heard of anyone who's seen her, but they all still know she's a monster. Medusa then tells Perseus that she is Medusa. At first he can't believe it, because how can the sweet girl he's been talking to be a monster? I won't tell you how it ends, as I don't want to spoil anything, even in a book based on an ancient myth. Jesse Burton does a great job creating a different version of the Medusa myth than we've seen before. She does really well updating the language while keeping the setting and the time period the same. The illustrations done by Olivia Lomachek Gill are beautifully done and her style of art lends itself really well to the story. Those who are a fan of mythology in general or are fans of Medusa specifically should definitely check out this book. Thanks for stopping by this book bite and we hope you join us again next time. Bye!